It looks like the set of an action movie, but it's really a laboratory. At the Midwest Roadside Safety Facility, high-speed car crashes test new safety features developed at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. We're trying to save lives and reduce injuries. The dramatic crash test is a split second of action following hours of preparation. Whenever you're developing a product to make it safer, of course, you got to have data. And when researchers developed a new wall for racetracks, they conducted a series of tests at the Midwest Roadside Safety Facility on an old runway at the Lincoln Airport. Data from a baseline crash test into a regular concrete wall is compared with crash test data using the new safer barrier. The idea was to compare the G levels and the the occupant risk values from this crash to the one with the energy absorbing wall. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to test the limits of the car as well as the, the occupant protection. The car used in the crash doesn't actually run. No fuel is used because of the danger of explosions. Instead, two supercharged trucks and a cable pulley system steer the car into the wall at 150 miles per hour. There's two cables involved, the one that steers it and the one that, that tows it. This one here is the one that steers it. It's just fixed to this mm -hmm. post, and there's bearings and a flag that steer the vehicle. It hits right here at this point and shears it off. And at the very same time, the tow cable, which is accelerating the vehicle, gets pulled off with this device. It actually, the, guy, the tow cable comes across, which is attached to the bottom of the car, and it yanks it down. And as it comes off, this comes off, and it's freewheeling from that point forward. 18 cameras record the impact. Yeah, these are all... Uh, black and white high-speed digital uh, cameras that run at 500 frames per second. Capture every split second of the event. Mats cover switches that calculate impact speed. All of the data and video is fed to a control van. This particular computer here is for collecting the digital uh, high-speed footage that I talked about out there. This computer over here I use to collect data from the impact switches the sw to calculate the speed. That orange cone on top of the rail is impact, correct? 10 four. just give me a, you know, a foot or so behind the rail, most of it to the west. It takes a team of 30 engineers and staff to make sure every aspect of the crash test is accurately carried out and recorded. While we're running the test, we like to have it well documented, and that's the reason for almost 20 cameras and all these accelerometers and measuring devices, because uh, we're the only ones in the country that, that are doing this and that have ever done this. The test goes off without a hitch. And a week later, the team is back again for another crash test, this time using the safer barrier. In all, 20 vehicles are crash tested. Based on our initial evaluation, it looks like this test is a much improved over the baseline test that we observed last week. We'll have to basically look at the electronic data and, the, and analyze the results and see a compare, make a comparison to the baseline test. This outdoor laboratory has been the testing ground for many innovations in roadside safety.